craft beer industry is going from strength to strength right now. Over 11,000 beers are currently being brewed in the UK. The Beer Emporium, located on the iconic Bristol drinking destination, King Street, is one of many businesses benefiting from the growth of the market. Their managers, Jim Summers and Marco Spazzato, explain how they choose which products make it to their fridges. Aside from the fact that we have a lot of local southwest breweries, we also have stuff from, from around the UK and also uh, you know, European American stuff. If you can find it in like big shops, it's probably not. It's not worth done. us having. Yeah. Is it? Fact is that the correlation between quality beer and independent small brewers brewing and you know uh, being really involved in the process rather than it being all automated like some of the larger breweries I think the, the correlation is that the quality is better so that's why we tend to have more independent beers rather than beers owned by by large companies. The rise in independent breweries has meant some are now being bought out by conglomerates. An example of this is Camden Town who were acquired by AB InBev the largest alcoholic drinks manufacturer in the world. Here in Bristol, more beer could be in such a position. Owner and head brewer Justin Hawke suggests this doesn't always have negative consequences. One would be if you are a brewery that sort of reached the limit of your funding and the ability of your, your kind of scale and distribution, you, by getting acquired by potentially a larger player, if they're not going to change your beer, if they're buying you for the right reasons, and we've seen some of those, then actually what you're going to be able to do, if they're not going to change the beer, you're going to get access to a much wider distribution network, get access to a lot more resources in terms of labs and, and ingredients and equipment. And actually, that's not such a bad thing. There are some valid reasons why these things happen. It's, are they done with the right intent, and is the new owning brewery or the new owning entity going to make any changes to, to the brewery that's going to dumb down the beer? A knock-on effect of the craft beer revolution has inspired some of the public to brew in their own homes. Homebrew supplier Chloe Coots tells us about their rising interest. I'm not sure what's fueled it, if it's just the fact that um, home brewing uh, or the beer scene is, is growing, so therefore home brew is growing as well. Um, but whatever's caused it, there's an awful lot more people that are interested in coming in and brewing more interesting beers. They're looking at uh, brewing you know, your big American beers as well as well, actually less on the traditional side, more on the more on the more experimental stuff. It's clear to see that there's an exciting beer scene here in Bristol, a setting that speaks for the wider industry. I'm sure there's going to be plenty of tasty times ahead. I'm Toby Downs for UE News. Cheers. <laughs>